Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm up with my first video for our Scrap Timber series. This is a collaboration with Laura Alberts and then Jess and I and today's prompt is the single photo prompt. So it is the second day of September. This is prompt number two, single photo. Uh, for those of you that have watched our Scrap September series, this year we're calling it Scrap Timber because we are collaborating with Laura Alberts and for the last few years she's done a series on her channel called Scrap Timber and we've done Scrap September, so we've joined forces. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be an awesome, awesome month. So there will be a video up every day on our channel and every day on Laura's channel. And every day we will be joined by at least one and if not two special guests. So today we have the wonderful Gwen joining us from Scrapped, is it Scrapped? Oh, created by Gwen is her channel. So she will be linked down below. Um, she makes beautiful layouts, so definitely go and check her out. Obviously, Laura's channel is linked down below too. Um, and then if anyone's joining us for Instagram, I will let you know. Um, we've got Instagram and YouTubers joining us, and it's just going to be a heap of fun. So I just talked through <laughs> doing my intro Um what I have done to my background. So I just, I'm using the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. It's still going strong um, and I'm trying to use it all up this month, but I've got a few more layouts left. Uh, and so I did some packaging technique in the background with some Distress Oxides. I went with yellow as my kind of background color and just went with the packaging technique. Now, <laughs> you can't tell because the, the pattern is so small but it's a patterned paper, which you might also not be able to tell because it's a little bright in the video, but it's got a very light gray dot and some teeny tiny hearts scattered throughout. And I actually ended up putting the patterned paper on the wrong way. Uh, and so the hearts are going in the wrong direction. They're sideways, but they're so small that you can't even tell. Um, and I've got this great cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. If I remember, I will leave it linked down below. Um, just hashtag mum life and the photo is just of my son he's playing with a toy but I'm holding a glass of wine and it's just kind of a photo with the glass of wine in my hand and kind of pointing at him and it just <laughs> I just thought the hashtag mum life cut file was perfect so I backed it off camera with more papers from the whimsical collection and pretty much I'm just adding some really small embellishments. I'm not doing much in the way of embellishing. I'm creating two kind of ripped detail, one on the bottom of the page and one at the top of the page. And that's sort of going to be my kind of focus for the embellishments, but I'm very light on embellishments with this collection. I've got a lot of paper left and not a lot of embellishments. So um, yeah, I'm just stretching this collection quite a ways. <laughs> Um, so, as I said, everything will be linked down below that you need to know for our series. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited for the month of September. I am not as organized as I would usually be. Um, I'm filming this voiceover uh, sort of late August. <laughs> um, and normally I would have all my layouts finished, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> um, I maybe, I think I've done six for the month of September. That's not enough. <laughs> to be very ahead so I am quite a ways behind but I will say um, we are in currently in stage four lockdown in Melbourne and it has really thrown me for six I will be honest <laughs> um, and you know you think you'll have all this time when you sort of have to stay home um, but you don't <laughs> it just gets eaten up by all sorts of other things um, so I am a little bit disappointed that I am not more ahead but but I will get there I will get there. You will have a video on our channel every day. I know Jess is a bit the same as me. Um, we're not as far ahead as we would like to be, but never fear. You won't notice because all of our videos will be up on time. <laughs> uh, so I am, as I said, just creating my embellishment clusters and I'm layering up some of the stickers, the, the word stickers that are on the sticker sheet uh, behind the uh, word kind of ephemera pieces that were in the cut apart sheet <laughs> um, I've picked three words so one says looking good this happened and love and then I'm layering some stickers behind it just to sort of as I said layer it up add some extra color to the layout um, and just bring a bit of interest 
Sorry, my voiceover was interrupted by my small child coming back. So it's actually the next day. <laughs> I don't usually like to do that with my voiceovers because I find they they get a bit disjointed. Um, but anyway, I it was not to be helped. Um, and so I can't really remember what I was telling you. I think I was telling you that I was layering up uh, the stickers and some of the chipboard pieces behind the phrases that I'd chosen to add to each of my embellishment clusters and just to add a bit of colour and to bring the colours from the Whimsical collection kind of into those clusters as well. And so that's what I've done. So as, as I said, I know I told you earlier that the phrase is uh, looking good, this happened and love. So I have done that, I've layered them up and now I'm just thinking about what else I might be able to add in. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, or am I doing, oh no, I'm doing the final cluster, the love cluster down in the bottom right. So you can see that I've used some of the chipboard pieces as well, just to add a bit of color, bit of dimension um, and some interest. I specifically also picked stickers and, and things that I wouldn't probably use on a layout. Um, and now I had three ampersands on the chipboard sheet. And I just decided to include them in my clusters. No particular reason. I had three of them. So I added them in. And then I had two little puffy flowers. Uh, so I added one of those into each cluster. And then I grabbed a flower from the sticker sheet and added that in as well. So they are my clusters done. I'm pretty sure I add some navy Heidi Swap color shine because... It's my fave. Oh, and I add some Nouveau Drops. Now I'm adding this, uh, I don't remember the color, sorry. I can let you know if you wanna know, let me know in the comments, but it's a really um, light blue, almost bordering on mint, but it's that kind of ice blue color. Uh, I got it sort of to go with Christmas because often that sort of blue is in Christmas collections. And so I used it a lot over Christmas and for my December daily album, but I really like that color. And now I am finishing off with my Navy Heidi Swap color shine and we are done. So I'm about to show you the close-ups. Please go and check out everyone today. So Laura, obviously every day throughout the month of September, go and check her out and go and check out the lovely Gwen joining us today. Her channel will be linked down below and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys.